What is going on guys, my name is Matt and welcome back to your daily GTA 5 next gen gameplay. Today we are taking a look at some of the helicopters in first person mode. This video is going to be pretty much just about the cargo bob. We're going to be showing you what it looks like in first person because I know a lot of you guys do want to know. I think I got a request for the cargo bob in one of the comments of a video earlier. So I thought, why not, let's do a cargo bob video. So here it is, this is the cargo bob in first person GTA Online. So as you guys can see in the video, obviously we do have the working dials and gauges that we do have in any other helicopter, plane, car, boat, you name it. We've got the working gauges again. It's pretty epic, I do really like this cockpit. You can see out the windows quite easily. Uh, I just really like the way you know it handles in first person. What looks pretty epic but I haven't had a chance to do yet is actually get some friends in the cargo bob with me because as you can see you can actually look behind you and look to the back of the helicopter and see what's inside which I think is a pretty nice addition because if you've got five or six people in there then you can see them all which will be quite funny really. Uh, obviously you can have a guy sat next to you also. You know I just think it's a really good helicopter for transporting a lot of people and this first person mode is really nice in this helicopter. What I did find a little bit tricky though, and you'll see it in the video, is that when I use the grapple hook, you don't actually know where the car is. So you do have to go in third person mode really, to actually grapple onto a car or a boat or something. You can't really do it in the first person mode because you have no idea where that grapple hook is. It's kind of like that with some of the other vehicles as well. When you fly in the big jumbo jet, you have no idea where the wings are. You might hit a building or a tree or something. So when you come into land or you fly in really low, you really do have to go in third person. Fortunately though, you can actually stay in first person for most of the cargo bob. Only when you're using the grapple hook do you really need to go back into third person. That about wraps it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, go drop a like down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so your subscription is more than helpful. Once again, I've been Matt, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.